My name is Tamara Taj Johnson George. Taj is just my acronym. Now I'm actually Taji. I'm mostly known as one third of SWV. Lately, my title has changed. If they don't recognize me as one of SWV, they always recognize me as Eddie George's wife. I never pestered him. I never, I never had to be everywhere he had to be. I gave him a space, and I think he really appreciated that. Tamara, it was everything. You know, the conversation was great. The love making was great. My sex life is damn good. My sex life is damn good. <laughs> I never wish I was single. Matter of fact, I think getting married was one of the best things that I could have ever done. Just from that day on, it was wonderful. And out of it came my son, which is just, I can't even believe I was able to create something so beautiful. You know, it hasn't overcome my personal life to the point where I don't have any privacy. I make sure I get that. Brooklyn, New York is where I was born and raised. That's where most of my family members are. And I went to junior high school in Brooklyn, so I have a lot of ties in Brooklyn. 925 St. Mark's make me think of uh, high school because I lived there with my aunt after my mother died, and I wasn't allowed to go outside. I couldn't use the phone. I couldn't do nothing. My name is Tamara George. Today, since I have so many young faces, I think I'm a focus on on goals for the future. VIP, initially it was a foundation that fostered the artistic abilities of kids. This message is just to tell you that you can do anything. When I took over the foundation, I wanted to focus on issues that were more personal to me. So I revamped the foundation to cater and support domestic abuse. Memory, December 1965, five years old. My mama tells me in a scary, loud, life-threatening voice to stop scratching my coochie snorcher. I become terrified that I scratched it off down there. I do not touch myself again, even in the bath. Taj, first of all, I have to say, of, of all the seasons, you were one of the biggest surprises because when we were out there, I would have never guessed people were gonna love you like they love you. I was wrong. <laughs> I was completely wrong. Being out here for so long, you almost forget what home is like and what the people are like that you love. See you back at the camp. Oh, buddy. Oh. Did you hear that last line? There's one line. See you back at the camp. Oh my God. <laughs> He's my fire. He is the love of my life. So it was just like the skies just parted, the sun came out, and nothing else hurt after that. So it, it's, it's going to be kind of tricky for me to separate the person who was hurt from the person who has to make an unbiased decision tonight. And I, I've been going back and forth all day. I'm not sure who I'm going to pick yet. I was very upset with them initially. As I got up from the chair and walked down the stairs, I was hot. I wanted to kill them. I wanted to go back and burn them with my torch. But by the time I got down to the last step, I let it go. My survivor experience, I guess if I had to sum it up briefly, it will be, it will be the sum of everything I experienced in my life, good and bad, all in one setting during a 37 day period. Um, the highs, the lows from growing up poor, losing my parents to uh, struggling in school, going back to school, finishing at 29, being in a popular group that broke up and came back together, marrying the man of my dreams, having the most beautiful son in the world, and then being able to go home and be happy and take a good nap in a good bed. It, it was just the sum of everything good and bad in my life.